So yeah, paid DLCs in GTA Online might actually become a thing. That's what we're talking about in today's video. What's up everyone, welcome back to another GTA 5 video. My name is Saints Fan, and earlier this morning, Rockstar updated, I believe the social club, like the Rockstar Games launcher, which is how you actually play GTA on PC. And according to the 5M guys, he was the first one to report it, says Rockstar seems to have added support for a DLC installation slash ownership to the Rockstar Games launcher. Said this is weird because at the moment, the Rockstar Games launcher doesn't offer any non-complete edition games. Which of course leads to the question, does this mean paid DLC incoming? So this would be absolutely massive if GTA Online gets paid DLCs. Up until this point, it's been pretty adamant from Rockstar that they don't want paid DLCs. They want everything to be free, but then just like increase the cost of everything in that DLC. So you might buy shark cards. That's been their go-to for the last couple of years. But if they start adding map expansions and new cities and new locations, that could mean those locations become paid for. Now, this is probably in very early stages at Rockstar. I don't think, I would hope at least, this upcoming DLC, the, the biggest one ever, the new heists in a new location, I would hope that's not a part of this. Although, if the rumors are true, and if we get a new map expansion, what if it's a paid DLC? That, that's actually kind of the first question I just want to ask you guys. Would you be against paid DLCs if they are map expansion DLCs? I, I just, I don't know. I have such a hard time seeing Rockstar limiting the player base behind an actual paywall like that. What I do think this is probably more likely to be a part of is the next year versions of the game. We obviously are getting a standalone version of GTA Online in 2021 i'm thinking that probably has more to do with this new paid dlc installation support than anything else there's been a bunch of speculation over the last couple of months ever since rockstar stated they're gonna make gta online a standalone game that they are just gonna constantly add to the game and that we're not actually gonna see a gta online 2. And if that's the case, if that's what they go about it, that's pretty much what all MMOs do. I mean, I think Destiny 2, uh, to equate it to a bunch of console people, they just had a major DLC. And guess what? It costs, what, like 40 bucks? That could be what Rockstar's doing going forward after that standalone version of the game comes out. And I'm not going to say I'm against paid DLCs because ultimately, I think paid DLCs could lead to some very, very quality DLCs. I mean, obviously, I don't think Rockstar and Take-Two are going to be making paid DLCs unless they truly think these things are worth it. And if they think it's worth it, it's probably a map expansion. It's probably, you know, Liberty City. It's probably Vice City. It's probably maps we've seen before, but just added into GTA Online. And of course, these paid DLCs, I'm sure besides just a new island or a new location it would have you know a bunch of properties a bunch of business locations a bunch of new races a bunch of probably new adversary modes right maybe some uh new interiors i wouldn't be opposed to paying for something like that but then that does lead to the question well how much should it cost you know i, I don't know if i'd be spending 40 bucks every six months for these map expansions that might be a little too crazy but you know 10 20 dollars i think that's probably reasonable if you get let's say like the entirety of liberty city but just in gta online of course in the comment section let me know what your guys' thought on this dlc or paid dlc it might be coming to grand theft auto sooner rather than later 
and I am curious if you guys like that idea. I guess the only thing that would make paid DLCs an absolutely terrible idea is if they kept like the car prices the same. I think that's the trade-off at the moment. We get free, quote unquote, free DLCs, but everything costs so much money, you have to either grind or buy a shark card. If Rockstar decide, hey, we're gonna add a paid DLC to the game, I think you have to cut back those prices. I'm not paying 50 or you know, 30, 40 bucks for a new island to only have to spend six million dollars on one car because it's got weapons. You know what I mean? If they start adding paid DLCs, these supercar prices cannot stay two to three million dollars. They need to go back to the OG prices where like a million is the most for a supercar. But that's uh, probably a conversation for later down the line when we do know more. At the moment, all we do know is that Rockstar have officially added support for DLC installation. And this could lead to some pretty interesting stuff going forward so thank you all for watching please drop the video like if you did enjoy subscribe for more gta content if i learn any more on this i will let you guys know but thank you guys and as always i'll see you in the next one